now we have a green material we need to assign that to our landscape so we create the material we have set green as the base color and we saved it so now what we can do is leave the material editor and because i docked it up here i'm just going to go back over to my level editor tab so here's uh, my landscape that I created and we can see here is the material so there are multiple ways of assigning materials to meshes and i'm going to show you lots of different ways throughout this series but we're just going to do it one particular way for this video okay so what we'll do is just click on the landscape we get the yellow outline to tell us that that is selected and the details for it appear in the details panel beautiful so if we look down here at landscape we can see landscape material and it tells us here none there is no material assigned so let's assign one luckily we have one prepared so we're going to go to this drop down box where it says none and you can go about this one of two ways you can either scroll down so i'm looking for m underscore landscape practice there it is or as um, projects can become really big and you can get bajillions of materials it might be worthwhile just searching for it so m underscore landscape and there it is so we're just going to click on that and in a sec it will update and we'll see a green landscape <gasps> there it is oh it looks lovely okay so once that's done that's it we've assigned the material that's all there is to it but what i want to do now is set up the next step so whenever i assign a material i tend to want to have a really good look around it so if we have a look oh this is what i'm looking for that my friend looks crap that's because this is shiny and I want this to be quite a matte surface. So if we just, let's just play this. And we have a little run. Here we go. We can see this is, this is shiny and it looks weird. And that's because we haven't set a roughness value in the material. So that's what we'll be covering in the next video. Let's just hit escape. So join me in the next one where we'll be creating a node and connecting it to the roughness value of our material. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel, then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.